What's up team? It is your biggest it's light. It's all jacked up. In this session, we are gonna be talking about the difference between a framework in the library. We talked a little bit about, I brought, I said framework and library a lot in the last vlog. Maybe there's people who don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So this is the difference between a framework and a library. It is your biggest fan, The Real Casadero, and in this session we're talking about the difference between a framework and a library. And I was thinking through analogies on how to explain this and all this stuff. I watched some YouTube videos, and I think I got one that'll work pretty well. Let's imagine that we're going to open a restaurant. What is a good restaurant to open? Pizza. We're going to open a pizza restaurant. There's two ways we can go about this. The first way is to is to go do a lot of research about pizza restaurants, find out what, what the average pizza costs and you know how much dough costs and all the ingredients and all the boxes, you know, how we're gonna deliver the pizzas, maybe all this stuff. We talk to a lawyer, we talk to an accountant, we file a business license, we find a piece of real estate or a place that we can lease, we maybe lease some pizza ovens, maybe buy some pizza ovens, install those, we buy uh, we get find a company to make the signs to put up on the wall and to make the menus We get a contractor to come in and make the restaurant look all nice And then we and, and we probably do a bunch of other stuff Maybe we build a website and and all these things and then we open the doors and we're gonna we're gonna sell some pizza Let's think of the pizza restaurant that we just opened as as our application This is our application as we sell pizzas at the end of the month we have to we have to uh, we have to do all of our accounting put money aside for taxes and put money aside for health care insurance and money aside for employees and all these different things we may send all of our receipts to an accountant the, you know this is how many customers came in and bought whatever this is this is what we sold or whatever the accountant gets all of that information we can think of the accountant as a library this is a resource that we use to accomplish something that needs to be done in our business in our case we need to account for the money that's coming in and going out and we got to account for this so we can pay taxes we can pay employees we can pay ourselves we can buy more ingredients also we might have a lawyer we want to make sure that that we're up to code everything all our paperwork is right and all this stuff is right so we go and we find a, a business attorney or something they are a library they are a resource we use to handle the legal aspects of our business so we have an accountant library that handles the money aspects and we have a legal library that handles the legal aspect now we got it when we go out and we buy our ingredients our dough our tomatoes our tomato sauce all these different things we can think of that as a library and that library is where we get our produce and our, our, all of our ingredients for, for our pizzas. We have a main application, which is the restaurant, and is using a series of libraries. And there can be hundreds of them, or there can be just a few. We can think of people in between those libraries. So like, say for instance, instead of us going to a company to buy tomatoes, and going to a company to buy, to buy pizza sauce, and going to another company to buy cucumbers and all these things, we we find a library that contains all of these different things and so now we can we can interface with one library so one vendor who sells all of these different things and they go out and they get all the other stuff for us and they deliver it back so we send them an order we want tomatoes we want bread we want meat we want cheeses we want pastas we want all this stuff they go out and they find all this stuff using their libraries and they send it all back to us and we get this nice package of all these ingredients we need and we put those into our app and we go off and we sell pizzas that is the essence of a library now frameworks so using the same pizza scenario let's say we want to open well, we want to open a pizza restaurant we can do some research we can figure out who has the best pizza framework in relation to what it is we want to do and, and when i say the best i'm talking about who, what's the best framework that we're gonna enjoy working with that we wanna tell people about, that we wanna talk about, and that we just wanna evangelize? Maybe we decide that, you know, Pizza Hut is a good framework. And in the business world, this would be called a franchise. So we've decided that Pizza Hut has a good framework. So all we do is we, we go to Pizza Hut, we wanna franchise a Pizza Hut. They go, okay, you fill out some paperwork, they make sure you're credible, and they give you everything you need. You go out, you find a place to put the Pizza Hut restaurant, and then you go to Pizza Hut, you say, I found a place, and they go, okay, here's a contractor to come in and make it look like all of our other restaurants, here's our menus for all the things you're going to sell, here's the recipes, this is how many ovens you're going to need, this is how many boxes you're going to have to order, this is all the stuff you're going to have to do. By the way, 
you get all of this stuff from us. So now we're operating inside of the Pizza Hut framework. We don't have to make up our own prices. They got them. We don't have to run commercials because they do them for us. We don't have to worry about the boxes or the meats or the cheeses or whatever because we just say, hey, Pizza Hut, we need to be able to make X amount of this pizza that's on your menu. And they go, oh, this is the stuff you're going to need. And they send it to you. So you have a framework. When you think about it like this, frameworks make things a lot easier. You don't have to think about all this other stuff when you got a framework. You just set up shop and go to selling pizzas. When you got the when you are using libraries, when you're when you're building your own thing, then you set up shop and you got to find all of these different resources that are going to help you do what the business needs to do. So the libraries are resources that you can reach out and use when you need them. The framework should have everything you need to operate within the confines of that framework. And that that leads me to the next thing. So frameworks or libraries, as you heard before, I mentioned confines. You're, you restrict it to the confines of the framework. So if you were in the confines of the Pizza Hut framework, you can't just make up prices or make your own pizza or just do whatever, anything you want to do. Like you can't come up with your own menu because you would be operating outside of the confines of the Pizza Hut framework. And you would be sort of in the realm of, of libraries. So now you got to go out and you got to find somebody that has these different supplies that you need for this special menu that you want to make. Pizza Hut, the framework, may say that this stuff isn't compatible with what we're doing. So you're going to have to choose. Either you want to use what's inside of the confines of our framework or you want to use these external libraries and do things your own way. But if you do that, then you can't have all of these signs and all of this stuff. You're going to have to make your own or find them somewhere else. And you can't use the Pizza Hut name. That is that is a business analogy of how frameworks work in frameworks and libraries. So a library is you can go out and you can grab resources. It's not a lot of rules involved in the framework. You, you still get the same resources, but there's rules involved. You have to operate inside of this box. All right, team, that is it for this session. I hope that all made sense. If it did not, let me know. Leave a comment in the notes below. Let me know things you want to hear about, things you want to talk about all that stuff and also click the notification bell and uh and, and i think you got to click it twice in order so you get notifications when i produce new videos for the beginners out there who want to learn about code check out the code 365 startuplab.com there is a series of free courses there where you can go and you can get started in in code and if you want to take it a step further then you can jump on to the code 365 startup lab actual startup lab course when i when i turn it back on so people can subscribe and you can actually follow me as i build a series of applications integrate them together putting them all online market them and everything and i walk you through every line of code all right team that is it for this session i will see you in the next vlog